gym anxiety. It's something that a lot of us have experienced or are currently experiencing. These can be feelings such as anxiousness of going to the gym, feeling like you don't belong or deserve to be there, overthinking everything. Are they looking at me? Am I doing this right? How do I use this piece of equipment? I don't wanna look lost. I don't wanna be made fun of. These are feelings a lot of us have. Whether this is your very first time going to a gym, maybe you've taken a little bit of a break and you're out of the practice, or you've moved and joined a new gym, I'm gonna be sharing my top tips on how to help you overcome this gym anxiety and to help you know that you are not alone and that that transformation from being nervous in the gym to feeling confident is one of the most satisfying and empowering things you can do for yourself. What's up you guys? I'm Brittany Lupton and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, what's up, hello. Join me for all things health, fitness, the gym, all of that. And if you aren't new here, welcome back. It's so good to freaking see you. Okay, so listen, I have been having so much gym anxiety recently, like a gym intimidation, like everything. I feel out of the loop. I feel uh, like a little bit uncomfortable going back. Like it is not a vibe. And I'm usually like the girl in the weight room hauling, okay? I just don't feel like my confidence is there yet again because I feel like I'm kind of starting from scratch because it's been so long since I've been on a regular routine with the gym because summer I've been traveling like crazy. Going to a gym, is kind of a social thing, right? Because there's so many people around. And you don't want to be the person that looks lost. You don't want to embarrass yourself. Like we have all of these fears and we can tend to really overthink me. So I have been overthinking everything and I'm like, get out of my head, what's going on? And I'm like, I gotta do a YouTube video on this. So let's dive in all about getting over our gym anxiety, gym intimidation, the whole shebang, because it's a thing, it's a thing. So the first thing that I have to tell myself that everybody starts somewhere and I want to tell that to you but I also need to tell that to myself because I'm having a hard time because I feel like I'm always the person in the gym who like knows exactly what they're doing. I've been going to the gym for years. So for me to kind of like go through this again of like oh my gosh like I feel so uncomfortable I don't feel like I belong here like going through this train of process it's like a big hit to my ego and my confidence not feeling confident in the gym where that's like always like my place. When people are like, oh, what are you good at? I'm like, the gym. Like, that's where I belong. You know what I mean? I've always been a broke. <laughs> Other girls are like, Starbucks, me, the gym. Okay. So for me, I have to keep reminding myself that everyone starts somewhere. And even when we take these long periods off, like, we have to start back somewhere and that's okay. And if you're a beginner, you too are gonna have to start from somewhere. Know that every single person that you see in the gym has once been where you are before, their first day in the gym, their first week in the gym. It's been years, they're going back. Everybody has been there. Please don't let that discourage you. Everybody belongs in the gym just as much as the next person. Like everybody's paying the same amount of money. It is a membership. It's a public space. Everybody has started somewhere. Even if this is the beginning of your journey, who's to say you can't be there in a couple of years? Because if you were truly committing to this, right? I talk about this all the time on my channel. It is about changing your lifestyle, changing your habits, changing your routine. So if you're committing yourself to the gym, like this isn't something you're just doing for the summer, for your wedding, your pre-wedding body, like this is what you're doing for life. You're building a new routine, you're building a new habit so you can have a healthy lifestyle, carry that on for the rest of your life. So you're in this for the long haul. Just remember, I've already committed that I'm doing this. It's gonna be uncomfortable at first, but we're gonna stick through it and we're gonna be proud of it and pretty soon, we will be a pro, okay? You've got to remind yourself that it's gonna take a little bit of time to settle in, but that's true with anything, okay? The first time you go to a new school or you're trying like a new activity, your first soccer tryout, your volleyball tryout, how are your nerves? They're through the roof, right? It's gonna take you three to four times till you start feeling a little bit more comfortable. The first time you do anything, is gonna be uncomfortable. Take it one step at a time. Know you're gonna have those like first day jitters and everything, that's gonna be a thing. And it might happen for an entire week, two weeks, however many times you go, but the more you go, the more comfortable you're gonna feel. And that's with anything across the board in life, right? Pretty soon it'll become a habit or routine. Now, speaking of a routine, the next one is to create a routine. I will say, again, because this is for life, right? Like our bodies are for life. We wanna have these habits. We wanna to go to the gym, exercise, move, whatever that is. We want these for life. So 
creating a routine is going to be the best way to make that part of your lifestyle, part of just what you do every single day. So find some things that you absolutely love and create that into a routine. So let's say, for example, you like going to the gym in the morning. You're an early bird. You work your nine to five. You're trying to find time to go early in the morning. What are the things that you want to build into that routine? Are you somebody where you lay out your clothes the night before you pick out your outfit? You grab that, you put it on, your water bottle's already filled up. If you have pre-workout like that set out, your gym bag is packed so you're ready, you just get dressed, grab your things, and you go. That preparation ahead of time, that routine, it does make it a little bit easier to go because you've mentally prepared yourself. So I think that that can help with any type of anxiety, having some kind of routine so that you start feeling comfortable with it. I'll say when I worked my nine to five and I would go to the gym at night, if I did not have my gym clothes packed with me and I went home, it was so much harder for me to get back to the gym. I had to go to the gym on my way home. So I would have to have some type of like pre-workout snack, like after work, before the gym, I'd have to have a snack, a pre-workout and my gym clothes. And I would change in my office's bathroom and then I would drive myself straight to the gym because I would not. Well, the percentage was so much lower if I went all the way home. Cause once I get home, it's like, oh, I just wanna chill. I just wanna relax. I don't wanna do anything. Like the energy level is low. Whereas I'm getting off work, I'm going to the gym. Like there's nothing in between, like let's do it. And then we'll go home, eat and relax and chill. So for me, that's the routine that worked when I would work out at night when I had my nine to five and everything. Now I go early in the morning and that's what works out for me. So your routine can also change and shift with whatever works out. It might take you some time to figure out what's gonna work for you in your routine, but just keep at it. Try a bunch of different things. Don't get discouraged. So the next one is overthinking. We need to stop overthinking. Like I get in my head and I overanalyze everything. I, for some reason, I'm like, somebody's gonna judge me for wearing this or somebody's gonna judge me because I'm a little bit weaker after coming from vacation. I'm not as shredded because I'm coming back from vacation. I don't look like I belong here. I don't feel like I belong here. Whatever that narrative is in my head that I'm telling myself, that negative self-talk, I'm overthinking and overanalyzing everything, cut it. Positive self-talk, positive affirmations, two things that are gonna build up your confidence again, have that routine. Another thing, pick an outfit that you're gonna feel confident in. I kid you not, there is so much power in this. For example, yesterday, having a super duper hard time going to the gym, feeling confident, whatever. Let me tell you, I picked an outfit and I was wearing it and it just like felt so tight on me. I was like, whoa, like it was just squeezing me. Like I felt so uncomfortable in this outfit. It made me not want to go to the gym even more. It just didn't feel good. It was not a good day for me. Two things went through my head. I said, what is a type of exercise that is going to make me feel really just calm and comfortable and that's going to be easy, like no stress on me. I don't feel confident enough to go through an entire workout. So I thought, okay, I can do cardio for me. Like, that would make me feel better. I can just run, put some music in and kind of like get lost. I was just too stressed to get through a workout. My stress was high, my anxiety was high, I'm overthinking everything. So I'm like, okay, bet, what's gonna make me feel comfortable? I put on my most like stretchy, comfortable outfit. Automatically, I felt so much better. I'm like, nothing is squeezing me, nothing is like super tight, but I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. And instantly, my mood shot up and I said, I can't believe that an outfit can give you that much power and give you that much more confidence. So then I started feeling better. So for me, that completely settled my anxiety. I was able to have an amazing workout and I started on the treadmill. I ran a mile, I did a little bit of abs and then I said, you know what? I actually feel good enough, I'm gonna hit some weights. So I ended up doing a little bit of chest and triceps and I ended up feeling a lot better because I took where I was, I did what I could when I was in that stage and then when I was ready, I was able to push myself. Other days, I have no gym confidence issues, I have no gym anxiety, and I'm just in the weight room blowing it up, all right? Being patient with ourselves and doing what is gonna make you feel comfortable with at the level that you're at, that's gonna just move volume. If you're new to the gym, it's gonna be a little bit different for you, okay? Because this is your first time going, right? You don't really know what to do, so you're gonna need a plan. And a plan in the gym always helps me feel so much more confident and decrease my anxiety. So my plan initially, right, for in this example was I was gonna lift weights. That completely spiked my anxiety. That was too much for me at this time. 
So I went to something that I know I could easily do and it made me feel comfortable in the space. I was still going, trying to keep that routine, trying to keep that habit, but it was something at that level where I was feeling really anxious, I could manage. So if this is your first day, sincerely go to the gym and pick a treadmill or a Stairmaster and just stay there for five to 10 minutes until you're starting to feel a little bit more at ease. On the treadmill or Stairmaster, a lot of times you can look out and scope things out, okay? If you have a plan of what you wanna work out with, you've got a YouTube video, Instagram, a TikTok video, or my app. <laughs> <laughs> what the best app ever <laughs> if you have some type of program or something you're following that is going to make it so much easier but you can be on the treadmill be on the stairmaster look at your plan and be like okay so i need to do squats today where's the squat rack okay it's over there okay then after squats i'm doing deadlifts um where are the dumbbells for deadlifts okay over there where's a corner maybe that i'll feel comfortable with over here or something like that okay right like you're trying to scope it out you can also find a corner in the gym and do some dumbbell exercises. I know some gyms have like little turf areas or even women's only sections. Do something that is gonna make you feel the most confident until you get into the routine and until you're able to take that next step. I think all too often we think we need to like, our first day in the gym, like we're at the squat rack, you know, 45s on each side doing squats. But sometimes we're like, yeah, that, that's what I need to be. No, you don't need to jump to that. Truly take it at your own pace. Everybody's gonna be different and Take it at baby steps, one step at a time, until you feel more comfortable and confident and then you can do the next. That's really gonna help with your gym anxiety, get you feeling more comfortable and confident in the gym so that you keep on showing up. You're gonna keep showing up if you're taking little steps and really taking it at your own pace and giving yourself that respect, that time and that patience that you deserve to slowly keep going to build up that confidence. Cause it's something that takes time and you've gotta rebuild it. So. Take it at your own pace and you're gonna do good. So I've done a lot of talking. I wanna do kind of a recap and especially nail it for beginners because again, like I said, you can be a gym veteran and still get gym anxiety, like I do. And what I have to do is just scale it back. I'm not trying to overthink things. I'm wearing an outfit that I feel comfortable and confident in. Do not undermine the value of that. It almost sounds silly, but when you're wearing clothes that are comfortable, you can feel more confident. You turn inward when you're wearing something that you don't feel confident in because then you're thinking more about what you're wearing, what you look like, how you are feeling in your own body and in your own skin versus the workout that you're trying to accomplish. So you've got to set yourself up for success in that sense. Also having a routine, even when you're a gym veteran or you're new, having a routine is going to help you so much just to keep that habit, build that foundation and have things that you're kind of excited for. You're trying a new pre-workout. You are, you get to listen to your favorite songs. You're making yourself that girl, giving yourself that a time, attention, and focus and like hyping yourself up. Okay. You can do gym tours before you even sign up for a gym. You can tour a couple gyms, walk in, get a vibe. Every gym has a different vibe. I will tell you that. Find a gym that fits your vibe. But I assume because you're watching this video, you want to join a gym or you have joined a gym, you better use that membership. Like if you pay for a membership, now is your time. You've watched this video, put it to action, sis. Getting to the gym is probably the hardest part because once you're there, you're going to do something. Even if you're not wholeheartedly in whatever you're doing, you're physically at the gym, which is a huge feat. So again, having that routine, having something to help get you to the gym is going to be astronomically amazing to help you. So you guys, that's gonna conclude today's video. I hope it was helpful because truly, gym intimidation, gym anxiety is a thing that a lot of us can experience, especially as a newbie. I know I struggled with it and I hope that these small tips can help you and also encourage you to know everybody at some point in time has felt this exact same way. So you are not alone in this. And if you're watching this video, everybody else who watches this video is probably struggling with it. I know I am currently, so it takes some time. We're easing back into it. We're gonna get our confidence back up, you and me, okay? But yeah, let me know if I missed anything in this video that you would write down. I promise as you keep showing up and as you get into that routine, people who are at your gym, you start making friends, you start, you know, like getting familiar with the type of people that are there, the same people are showing up every day, like, they kind of become your gym family. Whether you talk to them or not, we see each other every time we're at the gym. And it's like this unspoken like, you know, these are not my gym people, my gym homies. So you will get a crew on, you will have your gym homies. Keep 
showing up. That is what is so important. I know in your heart you want to, you're just a little bit scared. You've got to take that first step. No, the first couple times are going to be uncomfortable and a little bit awkward even maybe. Everyone goes through it. Get out of your head. Get in a good headspace. Have an awesome playlist to carry you through or a podcast, funny games podcast. <coughs> and you got it. I'm cheering you on. I'm always here for you. And uh, let's chat it up in the comments. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, listen to my podcast every single Wednesday. Download the app if you need extra help in the gym. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.